John McLean, the fifth time around. How has your like view of the character changed over the years, and how different how different is it for you now? I think it would be a, a big mistake to start monkeying with the character and changing things around. Now I think she, especially the fact that as you say, 25 years has gone by. I, I don't think people really figure out. I think. Everybody thinks they have it figured out when they're in their 30s or 40s, and they go, this is how I'm going to be, this is what I'm going to be, and I think John McClane's that same guy. He always thinks he's, always thinks he knows more than he really knows, and he certainly thinks he's smarter than his son, and his son is actually far, far smarter than he is, so. I mean, that father-son dynamic is obviously so central. How much did you guys work on that? You know, we just kind of complemented each other, I guess, and they, the, the dynamic was right, and I kind of understood where 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 Jack was at, and he's obviously, you know, he's John McClane. He's been doing this for years. He's kind of um, he's so good at, with this role, and it was it was kind of natural. I mean, we just we really just had fun with it. It was it was on the page and also uh, in the room. You know, Bruce likes to kind of keep it fresh and ad lib a bit, and you know, improvise. And um, it was it was just fun playing with that. You get some jokes out of it. You get some drama out of it, and uh, it moves the story along. And uh, I, I always like the fact that there's a little, sometimes a little, sometimes a little bit more uh, of a family conflict in the film. And I think people can, can relate to it. It's not like it's some outer space action picture or something where just everybody's fighting all the time. But there's a, there's a nice little story in there as well. And the scale of some of the action sequences, I mean, obviously the Die Hard franchise is all like this, but even by those standards, it's insane. The car chase is... Pretty epic. Yeah, I mean, what, what were some of those experiences like? It must have been... Oh, fantastic. I mean, I was I was constantly amazed by the scale of what we were attempting on this. And, um, you know, you would show up to some of these sets and they'd be these beautifully constructed kind of, like, you know, gorgeous pieces of art in a sense. And then, you know, little do you know, it's rigged with explosives and... <laughs> you know, the next week it's gonna come crashing down. If you were looking back on the whole Die Hard series, could you pick out like a, I don't know, a moment or a favorite, I don't know, scene or what, what kind of stands out for you? I've had a lot of fun scenes that I, I've got to do. In the first film, I got to jump off of a building with a fire hose around my waist and survive that. We jump off the, the roof of the Hotel Ukraine, a ballroom in, in this film, Jai and I, and then we go down one of those little trash nozzles that they use at construction sites. Uh, that was a little freaky. We were very, very tight in there, very, very close. Uh, but they're it just loaded, they're, at, they're just loaded and you just chock full of these uh, big stunts that I, I get to do a little bit of and then the stunt guys come in and really make it great, really sell it.